When you find yourself pruning the trees that are growing up around your prison bus, it might be time to accept that the bus has been in the driveway a while. This week on the prison bus, I was consumed with revisions, by which I mean changes to things I thought I'd already accomplished on the bus, only to realize that version 1.0 wasn't going to cut it. In my last video, I showed you my sliding barn door, and someone was nice enough to suggest in the comments on that video that I could delete the hanger brackets and attach the box rail directly to the ceiling of the bus. I immediately made the revision using my monster magnet to hold one end of the rail so I could bolt up the other end. Preserving those few inches ended up being worth it. Revision complete. The next do-over involved the kitchen cabinet doors. You may recall that I made panel doors that I wasn't happy with, so I went out and bought a super heavy sheet of MDF to whip up some ultra simple and solid doors. All right, so I'm just cutting uh, these two cabinet doors. They almost match. This one's a, just a quarter inch larger. And then these three face panels, obviously I'm using MDF and it's gotta be painted before I put it in place. This was my first time working with MDF and it wasn't too bad. It's dusty stuff, but on the plus side, it's ultra flat and very predictable. I'll have to tune up my panel door building skills for next time. You're getting a look here at my prepper size stash of cabinet hardware. Hinges and sliders and knobs and all kinds of stuff are in this box. For a while there I was getting sent this stuff as free product samples and I kept stashing it away to someday use on the bus. Well, that day has come. I drilled out the hinge sockets and the doors before priming and painting them. The thing about making revisions, for me, is that I tend to resist making them and then I'm almost always happy with how things turn out. But with that said, there's something a little unsettling about revising your own stuff, by which I mean I'm the one who cocked it up in the first place and then I'm supposed to be the one to make it better? There's something about that that just never makes sense. Back in the bus, I put some tongue oil on the kitchen cabinet body itself and installed the drawer faces and doors. Sweeping up the sawdust from this job, I couldn't help think about sweeping out the bus back in the day when it was still an empty shell. Cabinet doors revision complete. And I guess this wasn't really a revision, but whatever, it's something I did on the bus this week. I put up the light in the back that will be accessible in the rear garage area of the bus. Another little electrical job was to tune up the GFCI protected kitchen countertop outlet. And with that one tied together and the dedicated fridge receptacle installed, it was time to install my mini fridge, which I secured with a ratchet strap. 
Note that the fridge space is built to accommodate a larger Norkhold fridge. And if I go that way in the future, I just need to delete the shelves above my mini fridge and there will be room for the Norkhold. All right, ye old next revision was to swap out the hinges on my folder couch. Now, the hinges I originally used on it were a tad big. And I'm not saying like too strong big, but they were big in a way that I started to worry that my cushions, which don't really exist yet, would end up catching on the hinges over time. So I came across an El Cheapo piano hinge and installed it. Revision complete. Across the way from the couch, my power cabinet needed doors. And I went with the clean three quarter inch plywood I've used in other places around the bus, lapping the doors where they meet, so just one needs to be snugged up in place to hold them both closed. And I hung them with more of those freebie hinges. After getting the doors on, I added a little wooden latch that I'm already starting to think is going to need to be revised sometime in the future. With the power cabinet all closed up, time to test all of my other outlets and start using them to run my fans and tools and whatnot. Okay, now the next revision was kind of major. It was time to ditch my DIY used blue vinegar barrel gray water tank that was cabled up under the bust. Originally, I really liked the idea of reusing the barrel, but it was never quite right under there. After looking quite a bit, I found a good deal on a used RV black tank on eBay. Used as in pre-pooped in, and the beast arrived on the porch via UPS. I dragged it through the house just to see what Melissa would say, then got to work installing the tank under the bus. If you learn anything from this video, let it be that you merely need to slap a UPS sticker directly on a used RV sewage tank if you want to ship it cross country. To hang the new to me black tank that would now live out its life as a gray tank, I cannibalized an old rowing machine for some steel hangers. The method I use for hanging the gray tank is pretty much the same as what I did for my nasty old black tank. I hung threaded rod and steel supports, sandwiching the tank in place. Gray tank version 2.0 complete, which means I had no more reason to delay on finishing up all my various waistlines. I improvised an extendo trap under the kitchen sink, then tied all the other gray waistlines together and ran them into the new gray tank. Note that the bathroom sink waistline crosses from one side to the other under the bus in some nifty sleight of hand. Tiggy, come on. No, no, no. You gotta leave that. Plus, all this gave me a chance to huff PVC solvent fumes under the bus with pink. For her, it was the first time, and kind of like sharing a beer with your kid or something like that, but with more lasting damage.
All right, so those are all the uh, bus revisions to date, and I'm sure there will be more. Um, it's awesome to get those things done. At the same time, you know, it's a little bit like two steps forward, uh, one step back. Um, you know, a lot of time spent doing things that I'd already spent a lot of time on. So, you know, it's a little bit frustrating, but awesome to have things just right. Uh, that gray water tank, for instance, you know, it was just never right as a barrel. Like, I love the idea of reusing that barrel, but it was just too low and awkward. Um, I think this new uh, secondhand black tank is gonna be way better. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, I've got a playlist of other prison bus conversion videos if you haven't seen that. I appreciate comments down below and always respond. I've just learned so much from you guys and gals as I've been posting these videos. The comments have been super helpful. I also uh, keep a, a photo stream going on Instagram, Meta Spencer on Instagram if you haven't seen me there. I'm also on Facebook, Meta Spencer, and uh, I keep a small blog on Patreon just kind of detailing uh, you know, just like some more thoughts about projects and a little bit more depth. All right, see you in the next video.